Okay, hi. So lots of people have said to me, why don't you have a YouTube channel? We, we watch you. So I'm going to try. I don't know what I'm going to say. And um, I'm going to try to keep it just quirky and fun and lighthearted. And maybe we'll talk about serious things every once in a while. But um, I also want to keep it to a short amount of time. So this is my first go. Let me know what you think. Um, I hope they'll get better, but we'll see. Uh, so if you know much about me at all, and if you don't, that's okay too. I am a um, kind of a Starbucks junkie, but I live in Houston, Texas. And if you're a Starbucks junkie, don't move to Houston, Texas, because there's just not enough Starbucks. There's uh, the closest one to my house is three miles away. And the lines are always a nightmare. And the drive, um, the drive throughs are a total nightmare. Like, I literally sat in the drive through line with only two cars in front of me today for 20 minutes. But once you're in the line, like, you can't do anything about that. Like, you can't get out of the line. So, um, you sit there. Today, I, uh, used Snapchat filter to take some pictures and I'll, uh, edit those into this video but you know since I sat in line for 20 minutes and I got there and I didn't see uh on the menu what I wanted which for fall I am a salted caramel mocha person but when they bring on the red cups this is not a red cup but it is a red sleeve um they change the flavors for Christmas like which is like a month and a half away at this point. So I got a VT TSD. Does it say TSD? You can't see that. Uh, what? TSTD, which that's a little frightening. Um, I think that's a W. It looks more like an M. Muk Mocha. This was not McDonald's. So it's actually a venti toasted white chocolate mocha. Now I like the white chocolate mochas. Um, I don't know what a venti toasted one is going to taste like. And so I thought I could do a little taste test for you and tell you because maybe you haven't had one either. You might want to rush down to your nearest Starbucks, hopefully closer than three miles away. I know I sound really spoiled, sorry. Um, but sometimes you just want to drive down to the corner and get a Starbucks. Like, what happened to the Starbucks on every corner? Anyway, uh, Houston, get with it. Just get with it. Here we go. Oh, I want to tell you actually. I, so this is already over three minutes. Maybe I'll edit it. Maybe I won't. Whatever. But I actually stopped drinking coffee. <laughs> And you're going to say to yourself, well, what does a Starbucks junkie stop drinking coffee for? And now she has Starbucks coffee. Well, after Harvey, um, for those of you who don't know, that's a hurricane and not a boyfriend. Uh, my anxiety was really high and the caffeine wasn't helping. So I stopped drinking coffee and I haven't drank coffee since then. Um, the whining you hear might be... Uh, it's not, might be, it is my little dog LaFonda. I'll introduce her to you at some point. But, um, I stopped drinking coffee and caffeine mostly, uh, to help with the anxiety. And it absolutely has. But today I was like salted. Oh no, not salted. Toasted white mocha. Um, mostly because when I see a Starbucks, which is rare, here, um, I kind of just want to stop and get one. And the people who do know me know that I love it so much. In fact, my aunt recently sent me this nifty, you know, Starbucks gift card. Hello. Um, 
So you can't go wrong with that. Oh, and do you, if you are a Starbucks person, do you know about the Starbucks app? Because people, stop paying cash at Starbucks. Just hold out your phone. They're smart. I'd show you mine, but I'm recording on it right now. They're smart, and they will pay for you. Oops, I almost knocked this whole thing over. Okay, hold on a minute. This dog is going crazy. She wants to come up. We'll see. She's very, very camera shy. See, here's Luanda. She's so camera shy. She's not going to look in the camera. Um, but she wanted up here. So, uh, anyway. So, I totally forgot where he was. But here we go. We're going to taste test this. And, um... The one thing about the Starbucks here is that they make it really hot. So even though, like, three miles driving home, I had been to the vet, so I had to get LaFonda out of the car and get into the house and set up this camera. Oh, hi, LaFonda. Hi. Um, it's still very warm. In fact, maybe too warm. But, um, you know, it's almost one o'clock in the afternoon. Let's give it a shot. Oh. Toast. It does taste toasted. Um, if by toasted they mean a little burnt. I mean, what are they burning? That's what I want to know. How do they make it taste a little bit like a roasted marshmallow? Definitely white mocha. You know, it's not amazing. But, it's Starbucks. Maybe it needs a second drink. Mmm. Yeah. It'll do. I didn't pay for it. Gift card. But I loaded my gift card on the app. Do you do that? You should do that, too. Um, you know what would make it better, probably, is the other thing that I'm addicted to. At Starbucks. Oh, LaFonda thinks this is for her, but it's not. Petite Vanilla Scone. You can buy these single, or you can get them in a pack of three. Now, that's good. The dog almost fell off the desk, by the way. She just wants to be up here. Oh yeah, that helped. Definitely helped make that better. It just doesn't... It doesn't have the wow factor. Okay, so I'm gonna, you know, stop and maybe edit this, maybe not. Definitely add some Snapchat pictures. Uh, well, Honda's gonna go down because she's driving me a little nuts, but now she's all caught. Um, she's super cute, and, uh, she'll probably make an appearance in a lot of videos. Let me just share with you a couple of things I'm up to. I'm doing NaNoWriMo. If you are a writer, want to be a writer, want to just write, NaNoWriMo is a great way to get you writing on a daily basis. Um, so I'm doing that. I got some good friends supporting me through that. That's helpful. I also am about to go through my closets and um, put up some dresses for sale. I have, uh, if you know me, you know I love dresses. I love clothes in general, but I do love dresses. And so I'm going to put, uh, go through, I have two closets that are full of dresses and a lot I just don't wear and really I, I don't mean this to sound like a problem but I just have too many to wear all the time and so some of them are hardly worn and super cute oh super cute let's um I think that I want that to be my tagline super cute so, um, you'll see it. I'm going to put it here, here, maybe up here. Hashtag super cute. Um, let's see. I don't know. Could be tacky. But, um, 
I'm gonna put some dresses up for sale in the next week on uh, Facebook on a group called Fat Two Grand, and they'll be super affordable and super cute, super cute. Uh, so if you're interested, you should check out and join that group on Facebook. Uh, I may post some here too. You can just tell me if you want it. PayPal, you know. I'll zip it in the mail to you. But uh, that's gonna be it for today. Uh, it's, I hope you have a good Saturday. Bye.